Hello, welcome to the Australian Concertina Convergence 2023 concert, Memories. We've got some lovely memories to show you and it's been a joy to get this glimpse into some of our members' lives. I'd like to acknowledge the Elders past, present and emerging of the land on which our members live and play, as well as the places where they created these memories, the places the songs reference and the places where the music was written. Thank you to everyone who has taken part and to everyone who plays, teaches, builds or repairs concertinas. We will be at the National Folk Festival in Canberra in 2024 if you are interested in seeing live concertina performances. Enjoy the series.
I'm Monty, this is Siobhan. We live in Western Australia, Perth. This tune is called Kemp's Jig. Kemp, uh, it's from the 1600s, and Kemp made a bet that he could dance 125 miles to London. It, I, I identify with this song because when I was 19, I made a bet with my best friend. I bet him that the, the, whichever one of us uh, lives longer than the other, when that person next visits the city where the, friend, the deceased friend is buried, he has to visit the cemetery with a six-pack of beer and visit the grave, drink three of the beers, and pour three on the grave at midnight. <laughs> this is a bet I hope I don't win. Stuart Ashburner. Now for the first 25 years of my life uh, we had a pianola in the family home and amongst all the roles we had uh, there was one that had the Abba Dabba Honeymoon on it which I liked to play but at the end of that there was another little tune came up and it went something like each fish and worm begins to twist and turn the ship sets in to dip and does a corkscrew turn you see that smoke so black sneak from the old smokestack it's floating right to heaven and it won't come back now it turns out that that tune is um, called the honeymoon the um sorry the oceana royal 
and I'm going to play it for you, but I shan't try and sing it at the same time. So uh, here we go. Oh, folks, well, it seems a long time ago that Ben Hall was shot down, but I suppose in the course of history, it's not that long ago. I, um, I remember in the 1980s uh, doing some tape recording with Sally Sloan, who sang one of the great Ben Hall ballads, and uh, she never would refer to him as Ben Hall. It was always poor Ben Hall. Uh, implying, of course, that uh, he was innocent and that he wasn't, you know. He holds a record for the most bail-ups in the history of Australia. But public sympathy being what it is. I do remember taping another fellow years later um, who told me about the Leopard Boy. The Leopard Boy was uh, a fellow that used to travel around with the shows and the tent shows. And uh, he would charge a shilling, he'd go inside the tent and uh, he'd show you the spots all over his body that he claimed corresponded exactly to the shots that Ben Hall received after he'd been ambushed. He also claimed to be Ben Hall's son the Leopard Boy. <laughs> it reminds me of another great sideshow story. There was one sideshow, uh, you know, they used to say there's a mug born every minute. And uh, one of the sideshow tents uh, had a sign saying, one shilling to see the biggest mug in Australia. And if you paid your shilling, and went into the tent, there was a big mirror and you looked into it. <laughs> you were the biggest mug in Australia. <laughs> oh yes, well, lots of songs I could pick to play on the concertina. It's a, this is my regular English. Um, but a song about Ben Hall is uh, never gonna go out of fashion. Come all Australia's sons to me A hero has been slain Butchered by cowards in his sleep 
upon the Lachlan plain. Oh, do not stay your manly grief, but let the teardrops fall. All Australia mourns today the passing of Ben Hall. He never robbed a needy man, as all the records show. But staunch and loyal to his mates and manly to the foe. No mark of Cain may stained his brow or widow's curse did fall. Only the robber rich man feared the coming Forever since the good old days of Turpin and Duval, they were the big English uh, highwaymen. Oh, the poor man's friends were outlaws, and so was brave Ben Hall. Forever since the good old days of Turpin and Deval. The people's friends were outlaws and so was brave Ben Hall. But savagely they murdered him, those cowardly blue coat imps who only found his hiding place by sneaking pillar pimps. Oh, do not stay your manly grief, but let the teardrops fall. All Australia mourns today the passing